Hey, I'm Lindsay Partridge. And I'm Franny Galvin Hines. And we just had the most incredible month and a bit in North Carolina and Florida doing a whole bunch of exciting things. And I've, I've already posted a couple of videos of some of the fun adventures that we've been having. <laughs> and I was really fortunate that when we went down to Florida, I was hosted by Acres of Love, beautiful facility, and was fortunate enough to have lessons with Karen Rolfe from Dressage Naturally, from Tick Maynard, who does some horsemanship and eventing lessons, and from Ellie at the Pirelli campus in Florida. And those videos I'm spreading out over different weeks so that way you can get some key tips. I also had a lesson with Julia from Endeavor Farm while up here in North Carolina, and we stayed at the beautiful Edelweiss Farm hosted by the Kenny family, which we are really thankful for. Beautiful facility. If you need somewhere to stay in North Carolina, I highly <laughs> recommend you check them out. Wonderful people as well. And what we wanted to do in this video was just sort of share with you some of our experiences, what it's like to do a movie for the first time and how that all happened. Because these aren't really movie horses. They're our extreme cowboy horses but they, they weren't movie horses going into it and we'd never done a movie before. One of the things that was really beneficial coming into this movie was the fact that our horses did extreme cowboy racing. Extreme cowboy racing over prepares your horses for most yeah. things. I over prepared Khaleesi and Cupid when I went down to Kentucky to do the trail competition. They were used to walking over mattresses and dragging sleds with pumpkins and going through all sorts of crazy things that when we went there it was it was okay. They were really well prepared. And when we came here for the movie, you know, different things happened. His very first shoot they were doing a green screen. And so he's parked in front of this green screen, all these lights around, and like they don't really know, they're not horse people, what sort of scares horses and they've got these big reflective things that are reflecting the lights and they're huge big white things and they're just whipping them around and they're only like maybe five feet away from him and he's just standing there and okay with it like and a huge part of that is his experience in extreme cowboy racing just seeing so many things and then the other part would be taking the time to make a relationship with your horse and a partnership and a language. So Harmony Horsemanship is so huge because, you know, we would face new challenges and we face new situations and every time our horses just trusted us. One of the most challenging things for me was on the day when Khaleesi did her demos of Liberty and Bridalist Riding, is it was really hot, like 26 degrees, 27 degrees, and we'd been used to like, I don't know, maybe 10, 10. or plus five. Yeah. It, it just wasn't getting that hot. This was the hottest day we had had, even hotter than when we went down to Florida for the weekend. And so I literally woke <laughs> Khaleesi up from a nap. I go out into the field and she's sunbathing. And I kind of put the halter on and I wait five minutes with her. And I'm like, okay, we really got to go and do this movie thing. And she kind of gives me this look like, are you joking? And I'm like, <laughs> please, I've got a cookie. <laughs> And so we go into the ring and I'm really thankful that it's a movie and that they can cut and splice different spots <laughs> um, because some of the things that I was asking her to do, I was trying to get her motivated and invigorated and so I kind of looked at the crowd and I was like, ah, she's a Canadian horse, she's not used to this heat. Uh, so the crowd had a good laugh at that while we were doing the horse show scene. So I'm, she still gave me a lot of really nice things, just not the same exuberance that I'm used to because she was feeling like sunbathing that day. So that was a little bit challenging. Cute plane. One of the most frustrating things has been dealing with these planes. And then we have to stop and we're like, blank time. Yeah. One of the scenes that we had to do that was a lot of fun and another shout out to the Pirelli program is the extreme friendly game we had to do because we had to do a scene where we beat Dreamer. Beat. Beat. And uh, so when we went to go beat Dreamer with this 2x4 because they had to do flashbacks to you know when he was being beaten, it looked kind of like this. Uh, maybe step back. We'll just show what it is. So originally we did it like this where we, you know, we got the 2x4 and I'm like, yeah, I'm beating you. I'm beating you. Urgh. Uh, uh, with it two by four and he kind of was like this and that wasn't really working because it doesn't really look like he's being beaten oh you no, can tell he's so reactive <laughs> so the way we ended up um, doing it is just kind of clever is we had the two people so this will be fun for you to see in the film 
Uh, so Franny's going to do the part of moving him forwards and backwards to make it look like he's reacting and then beating him over here. So beating and going, ah, 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 you're being beat, you're being beat, you're being beat. Actually, we're being sideways. <laughs> Good boy. Uh, and so that's kind of how we got that scene to work because really he didn't react at all and we didn't want him to. You know, we weren't trying, you know, we're not going to hurt him at all. He was completely safe. And there's other stunts that he had to do, like jumping over a fence and running across the road. But I want you to know when you see the film that we kept his safety first and foremost and always set it up for success with him. Having a language with the horses has been so crucial for their success. And my favorite example of that is just the scene where the director gives me 30 minutes notice basically and says, I need your horse to walk up to the actress in the middle of the field she stands on a log, he needs to move into perfect position for her to get on. She gets on and rocks off, you know, bareback and bridleless. No halters, no leads, no bridles, no sort of ropes or anything allowed. And I wasn't allowed to stand any closer than about 40 feet because it was a wide shot and I couldn't stand behind or in front. I had to be, you know, way off to the side. And it still worked it because he, he figured it out because we had a language, we had an understanding and they weren't just sort of random cues. It was something that I could influence and change your mold. And I don't know, most surprising thing. What would be the most surprising thing? I didn't realize how long you wait on movie sets. They say they're ready, they're not ready. They mean like in 40 minutes, maybe an hour, they're ready. When uh, his very first night on set was the night that he had to play dead. And so they say, okay, we're, we're ready. Like we're gonna start filming. I'm like, okay, so I put him down. He was down there for an hour an hour playing dead while they're doing all their, you know, locking and different things that they do for their sets. So now I have a better idea of what we're ready means, which means that I can manage the time better. So when my horses are having, you know, off time, they can have their breaks and I can manage that better. But that was, that was an interesting learning. And I didn't realize all the detail, like when you're doing a movie, you know, you film the wide shot. So you film the whole scene, like right now we'd be doing a wide shot and then you would do coverage. So then they would move the camera, so you'd be like, Lindsay, now this is your coverage. And then they would change the camera position, so then you'd like zoom in on Dreamer, on Franny, or whatever, and you get that coverage. And so you have to do the same thing like 20 times, so you can get all the different angles. I always thought that they just sort of did the scene once, and they just had cameras in different places. <laughs> and that's how it went. And they do have two cameras rolling, but I mean, now that you think about it, I get it. You couldn't have a camera here and a camera there because then they'd be looking at each other. So it still would see them when you think about it. But yeah, to do the same thing 20 times is actually really hard. So what was the most fun thing that we did on this trip? Riding on the beach? Riding on the beach. Riding on the beach. Riding on the beach was pretty fun. <laughs> pretty yeah. ridiculous, yeah. Pretty yeah, excited. riding on the beach. Definitely riding on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> What was uh, the most challenging? One of them, it might seem a little funny, but I've been riding Dreamer for almost a year now, maybe? Yep. So me and him were really like connected and bonded, and they would need him to do something, and I couldn't stand around, or then he'd be like, oh, you're over there. I got to go focus over there, and they'd be off filming I'm trying to get him to walk over there so I'd have to just leave for a little or go where he couldn't see me so then he would focus on the task. Yeah, so. yeah, there'd be pretty much any of the scenes where we had to do Liberty, like nothing on Dreamer, Franny basically had to hide <laughs> because otherwise she would be like, Franny, what are you up to? Which I think is just a testament to how strong a relationship and bond that you can create with your horse that, I mean, there's a cute clip you might have seen it already where we were supposed to get him to follow an ATV for a shot that they were going to get and he, the ATV had a bucket of food on it and treats that he was getting and then there was Franny way over there and he chose Franny over the ATV yeah. and the bucket of treats and that's I just a great, too, Dreamer. <laughs> great testament to that. So we had to be creative sometimes about where we placed Franny. <laughs> One of the things that we have to touch on for this video, Franny, I'm going to put you on the spotlight here. You are only 13 years old. What has it been like to be a whole month away from home with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been really amazing, like meeting everybody at the movie, and I've made so many new friends. 
and like I swear me and Dreamer's connection has gotten stronger with the whole harmony horsemanship and I just it brings back to my horse at home I before I met Lindsay I was fed up with her I wouldn't work with her when I brought her to the farm I was scared to ride her and now I I love her and I would never give her up so Lindsay's helped me a lot getting my horses started and getting them through their hard times so yeah and watching Franny, I could definitely say in the last year especially, she's been a student of mine for two years, and this last year your riding has just improved. And watching Franny on set, you know, bareback, bridalist, jumping bareback, your, I mean, your confidence just goes through your horse, and you can, you're just doing amazing. And you're sitting up nice and straight now. And <laughs> a straight. lot of those bad <laughs> No, you're doing fantastic. <laughs> you don't ride like that. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Uh, but amazing. I mean, 13 years old, I think you're going to be an awesome coach one day. So, Thank you. And we'll be happy to have you on board. So, very cool to have uh, my home. I couldn't have done it without Brandy, really. I mean, Aww. it's a lot of work. I forgot. And overall, I just would say a fantastic experience. I'm definitely hooked on movies and want to do more. Yeah. Lots of other exciting things to look forward to. So, the next big adventure for us is. Can-Am. Can-Am. So both of these guys are heading to Can-Am, which is in uh, Markham. So if you're interested to see us there, we're going to be competing in extreme cowboy racing and doing demonstrations of harmony horsemanship in the breed ring there. So make sure you look for us. We will both be there and hope to see you at Can-Am. You can get your picture taken with our movie star ponies. And uh, we hope to see you there. And you can let us know what you think and all of that great stuff. If you haven't liked the Unbridled page already, go check it out. It's like going it. to be it's really awesome. a fun movie. And uh, we'll see more of you guys later. So thank, thank you so much for watching. And Bye we'll for see now. you at Can-Am.